You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. On Thursday, 2nd June, a celebration for Queen Elizabeth II's birthday and platinum jubilee was held at the Himawari Hotel in Phnom Penh, with the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to Cambodia, Tina Redshaw, and the First Vice President of the Cambodian Mine Action and Victim Assistance Authority, Senior Minister Lee Tut, in attendance, along with many other ambassadors and distinguished guests. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more details. Speaking at the celebration, Senior Minister Lai Touch, representing the Royal Government of Cambodia, relayed his best wishes and good health, longevity, and a glorious raising to Her Majesty the Queen and her heartfelt congratulations to the people of the United Kingdom. He said, It is remarkable that the Queen has ruled for longer than any other monarch in British history, becoming a highest respected and much loved figure across the globe. He added, The Queen Elizabeth II had been a symbol of reform continuity and tradition of United Kingdom, and highlighted how she travelled exclusively across the Commonwealth and the world, building up the principles of friendship, loyalty and desire for freedom and peace. The senior minister also took the opportunity to touch briefly upon the bilateral relations and the corporations between the Kingdom of Cambodia and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. He said that he has noted the deep satisfaction that the two kingdoms, which are among the oldest remaining royalist institutions in the world, have been able to maintain an excellent state of friendship and comparative close relations in various fields of common interest since the establishment of diplomatic ties in 1953, and especially since the establishment of the British Embassy in Phnom Penh in 1991. He mentioned the UK's Government General Scheme of Preference to grow free and fair trade with Cambodia while engaging in human rights dialogue and timely donation of AstraZeneca vaccines in the fight against COVID-19 as the two examples of support and cooperation from the UK to Cambodia. He also noted the substantial bilateral assistance that the UK government has lent to Cambodia. He gave the examples of the prestigious Chevering program, which has awarded 184 Cambodian students to pursue higher education in the UK between 1993 and 2020. The British Embassy in Phnom Penh active work in advancing and promoting STEM education, technical and vocational education and training, and women empowerment in Cambodia, and the renewal of support for deeming under the UK's Global Mind Action Program, which has benefits millions of Cambodians by allocating almost 10 million US dollars to release more land for safe agriculture, housing and rural development. Closing his remarks, the senior minister called on everyone to rise and join him in the toast on the behalf of the royal government to the good health, longevity and glorious reigns of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, His Majesty King Norodom Suhamani, the good health of longevity of Her Majesty Queen Mother Norodom Mononith Senok, the happiness of the prosperity of the British and Cambodian peoples, the good friendship and close cooperation between the Kingdom of Cambodia and the UK, the strong ties between the people of Cambodia and the people of the UK, and in celebration of the Queen Elizabeth II's 66th birthday and the Platinum Jubilee. In 2022, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II will become the first British monarch in history to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee after 70 years of service. Global celebrations for her Platinum Jubilee began on Thursday the 2nd of June and will last for four days until Sunday the 5th of June. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.